Ready? Okay. Hello! Hey guys, it's Sarah here, and today I'm going to be answering your questions that you have asked me a updated Q&A video because I haven't done one in probably a year, so yeah. Alright, so let's get down to the questions that you guys have asked me. So where do I buy my clothes? I get most of my clothes from thrift stores. The shirt that I'm wearing is from a thrift store and I love it. You can use hang it. Love it. Literally, I buy clothes when I see clothes that I like and it's nice. Black market's great, it's in Toronto. I guess if I have time, I will leave in the description down below some online shops that I do shop at or and enjoy. What's my preferred pronoun? I have answered this in a video that I just recently did, the gender tag. If you haven't seen that, go watch that and you will figure out the answer to this question. Mm. What is my skincare regime regimen? That thing? <laughs> I don't really have one. I don't really have one. I just wash my face sometimes. Usually I have like a face scrub because my face gets really dry a lot of times. So usually I will put on a facial moisturizer to make my face not dry. That's about it. What do I do in my life except for modeling and do I miss high school? I don't do that much really, honestly. I'm trying to get more into my YouTube channel because I enjoy it a lot. I also take a whole bunch of selfies because I'm the selfie king. Post that up on the gram. On the gram. Oh yeah. Oh. I do have a lot of siblings so maybe I'll hang out with them sometimes but yeah, I don't do a whole bunch. And as for high school, I do not miss it at all. I didn't have too many friends, which is kind of sad, but it's fine because, hey, friends, who, who needs them, right? Do I work out? No. Mm -mm, no. Does this look like I work out? You're so tough, babe. Yes, I work really hard to get these. Why do you always pose like that? Because I want to. Because I want to. <laughs> My hand thing pose, I don't know. I think it makes me look real cute. Kind of just a habit now. I've been doing it for so long that I'm just like, when a selfie is like an automatic like, so. How long have you and your boyfriend been together for? We met around in December, end of December something, and then we kind of got together sometime in January, so approximately three months. I'm not tracking the days, but around that area of time. What made you slash, when did you decide to get into modeling? What made, uh, nothing really made me get into modeling. Apparently when I was younger, I was all like, ooh, look at me, I'm a model. But I was really awkward, so I didn't, it wasn't a thing. 16-ish years old with really yellow hair, horrible cut bangs and braces, I walked into Elite Toronto and they decided that they liked me. They gave me a contract, I signed it after reading it thoroughly with my mother because that's the smart thing to do. And yeah, that's the story of uh, how I got into modeling. No one made me do it, I enjoy it, I love modeling, it's a great time, get to meet a lot of awesome people, get to do a lot of awesome shoots, get to travel a lot of awesome places. So if you are interested in modeling, go check out some modeling agencies near you, but beware, read all of the contract and stuff, and if they always ask for you money up front, don't do it, that's not a thing, don't. Just, no. Don't do that. Do you have any tattoos or would you like to have one? Me and Cody did a competition with Tim Hortons Roll at the Rim. If Shut you're up. Canadian, you would know what that is, but if not, it's a thing where you roll up the rim on your coffee and win prizes, but most of the time you just lose. And Cody ended up winning prize for him was that I have to get a tattoo which we haven't done yet, but it's gonna happen in the future. I, right now, do not have any tattoos and or ink on my body, but I would enjoy some. I'm kind of terrified of needles, so not sure how that's gonna go. What are the best shops for cheap and cute wig? Girl, get on eBay or Amazon. That shit is real cheap. Of course, sometimes you will buy a wig and it's not gonna be the greatest quality, but that might be your fault because you need to read all the comments and reviews and crap in order to know if it's actually a good constructed wig and or not. Yeah, be wary. Don't buy really crap wigs without reading, I don't know. Read the reviews and your wig will hopefully not be crappy, but if you're looking for a cheap wig, go to eBay or Amazon. You can find a whole whack of wigs for fairly cheap, like 10 to 20 to $30, which I have found on there, so. Yeah. How did you and Cody meet? So babe, how Oh did, god, how, I'm so short. <laughs> how, did, how did we meet? So, we met at my work. I work at Hot Topic. We had like a friends and family can come work on Black Friday, and this one came and worked. They hugged me and I was like, uh, I died on the inside a little bit. I already knew who they were, which was fine. 
and they didn't know that until like what like a month in I'm like I actually have been following you for so long and you're like I hate myself and yeah and then I was like I'm gonna message them on Instagram and they're really horrible at answering one lovely night I get a message being like hey do you like Star Wars and I was like bitch what kind of question is that of course I like Star Wars they were a little drunk and <laughs> and they're like do you want to come and I was having a panic attack it's like ah oh, let me go ask and I wasn't gonna ask I was just gonna be like oh I can't but then I was just like that's rude I was scared are you kidding me <laughs> we went and they were drunk and they hugged me like 80 million times <laughs> mm -hmm. and then yeah it was just history from there but at least I wasn't just like oh my god I know you I know your name but I'm Cody <laughs> do I have any weird pet peeves or talents don't breathe on me don't touch the face this is the money maker don't actually I just don't like people touching my face that's about it I don't have really any hidden talents you can draw shut the fuck up what drawing's not like a hidden talent it is when you don't tell people that you can draw apparently my hidden talent is that I can draw not very well though it's decently okay no I don't have any big super pet peeves or anything I don't have that many talents except for I guess possibly drawing I'm decently good at hair and makeup not the greatest is so that's about all how tall and old am I I am 19 turning 20 and my height is five eight and a half to five nine I like to say five nine what is my favorite accessories and what is my favorite wig uh, favorite accessories is probably my scarf because I wear it every single freaking day probably needs to be washed has a whole bunch of burn holes in it from smoking and getting caught but I love my scarf because it's freaking cold in Canada and it's great. It's from Zara if you guys wanted to know about that. And my favorite wig probably, I don't know, I don't think I have one. There's just too many. How can you choose a favorite wig? That's like choosing a favorite child. How did you or do you accept your body type? After long years of being like, wow, I don't have any boobs and people are making fun of me for it. I don't know. I just like my body now. It's great. It's amazing. Good job. Congratulations. Self-love and acceptance. Except that you only have one body. You gotta, it's like a temple. Respect the temple of the body, thy body. Do I practice any type of exercise and or sport? No, I do not do any sports as of right now in my life. I did do cheerleading, horseback riding, dance, a whole bunch of random crap skiing I don't know yeah but it, I don't do that anymore that was when I was like a little child and my parents were like hey we don't want to take care of you just go do this yeah no I don't exercise or do sports no sports for me what is my favorite hair color personally I miss my super white her favorite hair color for myself that I have had would be my silvery white you seem feminine as your first impression. Is that the result of trying to fit into your internet persona? Well, if you follow me on my Instagram, Sarah Marie Carta X, yeah, that's probably gonna be way more feminine because I do wear my wigs and do cute makeup things and all that jazz. But if you follow me on my other Instagram, Mindsets and Cigarettes, I came up with that at probably like 4 a.m. trying to think of like a cool band name and just slapped it on that Instagram. So don't make fun of it. I don't know. It just is. That's uh, that's how it is. What was the question? Oh, is it the result of trying it? I'm not trying to fit into anything. It's just what I want to do. I'm not trying to, f yeah. What? That's just how I am. Enjoy it. Have I ever been bullied because of my style? Probably. I mean, there's a lot of bullies on the interweb. And actually, I mean, when I was in middle school, I got bullied by someone because I had little chicken leg. All my shorts wouldn't fit properly. So it was just mean. It wasn't nice and there was words thrown, principal got involved. The middle school wasn't a good time. School sucks, yeah. I don't really care too much what bullies think because they're bullies. Why would you put a bully's thought above your own? So those are some of the questions that people have asked me for my Q&A updated version of whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a big thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below other videos you would like to see me do. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time, guys. Bye. You guys ended up asking me a bunch of questions, so come back on Tuesday when I will be posting the second half of this Q&A.